Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand about the arrow functions in JavaScript. Now, arrow functions have been introduced after 2015, so ES6 and above uh, in JavaScript. So basically, uh, if you are in the older version of JavaScript, arrow function was not there. So it's more of a recent addition. So it's ES6 and above. Uh, why exactly the arrow function? So it's the same. The overall functionality or the behavior is same. It's a function, but the way you define is much more cleaner. Okay. As compared to the traditional functions. Say, for example, in order to define a traditional function, we used to have this function keyword. Okay. And say, for example, the name of the function. Okay. And if there are any parameters that this function accepts within the parenthesis, if say, for example, I'm, I have to add two numbers. So I'll pass those two parameters. Okay, uh, the spelling is not correct. Yeah, so function addition and then within the curly brackets, we define the steps of that particular function. This is traditional way. Say, for example, I want to print console.log the sum of these two values that I'm going to pass when I call this particular function. So I'll say, okay, console.log and then add these two numbers. Okay, and print the sum of these A plus. That's the first thing. Then if I want to return this value, right? So if return the sum of a and b so i can say return a plus b all right so this return keyword will actually return the sum of a and b to the caller which who, whosoever is calling say for example now i call this i can say addition okay and then pass on two values there so i'll say 12 and then comma 12 okay 12 or 13 so i'm calling this particular function now if i see if i just hover over this function where I've called, you will see that the return type in the extreme right is any. Okay, that means it has a return type. If I comment this line here, okay, if I comment this line and hover over, you will see it shows as void. That means there is no return value for this particular function. Okay, it is not returning any value. If I'll say addition 12 comma 13, it will basically just print the value because I have the console.logs. If I send this and see the console, you will see it will print 25 okay let me send again it will print 25 the sum of those two values because we have the console.log to print it on the console right now if i have a return statement there okay let me comment it now because there is no return statement at the moment so if i say i want to you know store this in a variable okay i want to store the sum in a variable and then print the value that is stored in this variable x okay let's see if i want to do this now, because this addition doesn't have any return value, it is void, it is not returning anything. That means this variable won't store any. Okay. So in order to return a value from any of the function, you have to use the return statement. So the value gets returned and that value you can store in some variable and then print it, right? That's the whole point of return. So if I send this now, you'll see that something went wrong. Console is, okay. Let me close it. Console.log. Okay. We missed that log statement there and I will clear the console and let so you'll see 25 and undefined why undefined because here I'm printing X but X is this function is not returning anything and no value is being defined or being associated or assigned to this variable X that I have defined right so in order to get that value assigned we have to return this return the sum okay so if I uncomment this and send again so the return statement has been uncommented. Now you will see 25 and 25. First 25 is from the console.log within the method. And then second one is the this addition being assigned to this variable and then printing this console.log and the value of the x. Okay. So this is traditional way of writing the function and a brief more about the return. Now, what are the arrow functions? So the same function can be written in a much shorter way. Okay. So say, for example, let me comment this, right? So the function... Uh, the syntax for arrow function is basically we can define a name of the function. So I can say let addition. We just don't even have to use this function keyword there. Okay. And then we simply put the equal to sign and put the parameters. So there are parameters, two parameters for this function a and b. So I'll say in the parenthesis a and b, right? And then followed by the arrow sign. Okay. So arrow equal to and then greater than this looks like arrow and then the curly brackets. Now within the curly brackets, we define the statements that are required within the function. Okay. 
So for example, both of these console.log and a return statement, right? Let's keep it as is, as it was before. Okay. And then run the same. So you'll see the output is exactly same 25 and 20. So this is how we are going to write an arrow function. So previously the function was function addition, right? And then curly brackets, you had the statement. Now you just define the variable. Okay. So, so addition is a variable and it's kind of a function equal and the parameters that that particular function has or takes followed by this arrow equal to and greater than sign and within curly brackets, the statements of the function. Okay. Now, if say, for example, there is just one statement, right? So there are multiple statement here. This is first statement, this is second statement, right? Now, if there is just one statement, let me comment this. How can we define? We can say let addition, we can even make it more shorter. And we'll say let addition is equal to two parameters, a comma b, right? Followed by equal to greater than sign, which looks like an arrow. And if say, for example, I just want to return a value, that means just one statement, okay? So here I'll simply say a plus b and that's it. Okay. Followed by semicolon. So this is how in a single line, this particular function, if say, for example, I don't have this console.log and I was writing a function like this, which has just one single statement, I can write it just in a single line with this particular arrow function and the function will behave exactly the same way as this function was behaving. Okay. So if I send this now and go to the console, you will see 25 has been printed. Why? Because we don't have console log any more. We have removed the console dot log, right? It is just returning this a plus b and you don't even have to put the return statement here. Okay. So you don't even have to say something like this. It is, it is not required. You just say a plus b and automatically this arrow function will return the value that you want to return of these arguments whenever this function will be called. So this is what the arrow function is all about. It is more cleaner way to write the traditional function. Okay. Now from the API testing perspective, this is good enough to understand if you, you want a more cleaner approach, you can go ahead with the arrow functions and the traditional functions as well. So either ways, your work will be basically done from the API automation testing point. So that's all for this video on arrow functions in JavaScript. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.